Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and it's the 22nd of September today that nip is definitely pulling in in some parts of the country they had the first frost this morning so I thought it was about time for me to give you that September greenhouse update I thought I'd start off by just giving you a pan around the greenhouse just so you can see what's what before we get into a bit more detail and over here to this side so that's what it's like at the moment as you can see it's all a bit messy and a bit sloppy because I've started to bring in the ornaments from the garden to kind of dry them off before they get stored away for winter in Ireland you can't really leave ornaments out in the garden over, over winter unless they're made of stone or something really durable. This part of the shelving is looking quite good and the nerines are the ones that really strike forth at the moment because they're in good flower. This is, um, nerines are South African bulbs and Bowdenai is quite hardy outdoors in Ireland but some of them are a bit more tender like this one on Undulata Crispa, I think, and I keep them in pots in the greenhouse. But they did really well this year, and I had them outdoors in pots on a south-facing wall for most of the summer. And as you can see, they flowered really well. Also of significance in this particular corner is that little cactus over there that's in flower. And I'm very proud of that because I am not good with getting cactuses to flower. But what I did do is use Lynn, uh, Lynn's tip this year and gave them quarter half strength tomato food. And I think it's made the difference. Moving along, you can see my Echeveria is putting out lots and lots of little baby plants all the way up the stem. Which is really good because, as you all know, I've tried to propagate this from leaves on several occasions and they've never worked. And I've since learned that this particular plant, Compton's Carousel, doesn't come true from leaves, leaf cuttings anyway. The resultant plants are not variegated, so well, that's no good at all, is it? Of course, the bouffon at the back there, looking fantastic as always, and a couple of pelagoniums still looking well. Here in front of us are a couple of things, one of which is a colocasia, and I'll put the name of this one up above, but a friend came and brought that to me recently, and he, ad he advised me that it really is a good doer, so I'm going to give that a try, because my track record with colocasias has never been very good. This is the agave attenuata that I bought in the market in Madeira in January this year. The larger of the two and the smaller one is somewhere else, but it has done well. It's picked up and if we look in the pot here, you can see that it does have roots. Now this came without any roots at all, but I don't think that held it back at all. Pelagoniums looking well and there's another one of those nerines lovely lovely plants and moving along to the left there's another one I wonder which one this one is this is Nereen Ostara and it has a most beautiful flower and finally in the corner we have one of the frangipanis one of the plumerias I have which are not big enough to have flowers yet and the spermania that I got at Johnstown get together in, in well January of just moving down to the very end of the greenhouse and the thing that sticks out at the moment are these ginormous amorphophallus conjac which didn't flower for me this year but they are looking big and meaty with very thick trunks so hopefully next year for flowering but you know this plant did flower for me last year and I'm just as happy to that it hasn't tried it again because you know it didn't spend very long in leaf at all last year. These magnificent plants will soon be shutting up shop for the winter here in Ireland and going dormant and have to be lifted and stored dry but that's okay it's all in the nature of things. Over here we have the Alocasia macoriza that I grew from seed and look at that, it's, it's turning into a fine plant. I'm very pleased with how well that one's turning out. 
And the first of my proteas from seed has actually flowered. This is Protea repens, and I'm very sorry I didn't catch the blooms on film, but this one flowered for me, and now it's kind of gone over, so sorry about that, but it's wonderful to have the result of all that hard work pay off. Just taking a quick peek under the shady shelving here where you can see that some of my house plants are still out here. That's that very big Christmas cactus I have and a couple more behind. Now the two little ones, the white and the off-white one, have gone inside because they're already in flower so that's good news. And here behind are those crinums that I bought as dry bulbs from the Bloom Show earlier this year, May I think. I'll put a link to that video up above. But as you can see, they have grown well. Over here on my white cymbidium, I have one, two, three flower spikes so far. And quite, they're quite progressed really. So, you know, those are going to flower in, well, not too long. The rest of the cymbidiums have no sign of spikes yet, but yeah, they're doing okay. Look at these gorgeous buds. This is Epiphyllum ackermanii and I have two buds coming. In fact, this plant has limped on and off flower all summer and, um, you know, there's two more buds coming there. So I'm expecting great things from it going forward. I'll probably bring the plant into the house a little later on because it's going to be cold out here in the greenhouse and that'll put pay to any flowers. Here on the greenhouse step I have a pot of Salvia Lucantha, I think the name is. I'll put it up above but it really is the most impressive flowering Salvia. It looks like a great big cuddly teddy bear that you just want to cuddle up to and actually the bracts on this salvia are so soft it's an impressive plant but like all salvias in this part of the world a very late flowerer okay well as you can see there's a lot of tidying up that has to be done here and sweeping out and then of course the bub bubble wrap needs to be put up around the glass and all the plants in the west part of the garden dug up and brought in here because they're all tender and then we'll be set for winter. So, well, I guess that's a job for another day. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching and please check back again for lots more of this kind of thing. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.